Hi, good evening. Um, I can see people joining. Hopefully you can hear me fine. Um, yes, good evening to um, Night Prayer on a Tuesday evening. And uh, yes, before I start, unbelievable. Can't believe it's the 1st of um, February. One month gone already. Time flies. Um, and just, uh, yes, welcome you tonight. Um, just to let you know, um, my name's uh, Dave, Dave Jenner, one of the church wardens at St George's Church in Enfield, Freezy Water. Um, so, yes, welcome to night prayer on this Tuesday, the 1st of Feb. And, uh, yes, we'll make, a, we'll make a start, prepare ourselves for night prayer. The Lord Almighty, um, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. And our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, <coughs> Excuse me, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and rise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our daily foe, that we no sinful fault may know. O Father, let we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Okay, tonight's um, psalm is um, Psalm 118. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures for ever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, his mercy endures for ever. In my consonant I called to the Lord, and the Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side, and I will not fear what, ke what flesh can do to me. With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confident confidence in princes. All the nations encompass me, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hemmed me in, they hemmed me in on every side, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about me like bees, they blazed fire among thorns, but by the name of the Lord I drove them back. Surely I was thrust to the brink, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Joyful shouts of salvation sound from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. The right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty deeds. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. 
I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have come my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light, like linking the pilgrims with cords, right to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Okay, we have our first hymn um, for tonight. Um, and these the two hymns I've got tonight... Basically, we're in Epiphany 4, and Epiphany 5 is this Sunday. So it's hymns that can be used um, between the two. Um, and the first one, um, you'll probably know it very well, and it's uh, Be Thou My Vision. Okay, thank you there, and um, that was Be Thou My Vision. Um, we now ha uh, move on to our scripture reading for today, um, and it is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, and it is chapter 4, verses 11 to 16. Let us then do our best to receive that rest, so that no one of us will fail as they did, because of their lack of faith. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts all the way through to where soul and spirit meet, to where joints and marrow come together. It judges the desires and faults of the hearts. 
There is nothing that can be hidden from God. Everything in all creation is exposed and lies open before his eyes. And it is to him that we must all give an account of ourselves. Let us then hold firmly to the faith we process, for we have a great high priest who has gone into the very presence of God, Jesus, the Son of God. Our high priest is not one who cannot feel sympathy for our weaknesses. On the contrary, we have a high priest who was tempted in every way that we are, but did not sin. Let us have confidence then, and approach God's throne where there is grace. There we will have receive mercy and find grace to help us just when we need it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, now we have our prayer um, for today, um, the Church of England prayer for the 1st of February. So if you can, let's bow our heads in prayer. God of heaven, you send the gospel to the ends of the earth and your messengers to every nation sent your Holy Spirit to transform us by the good news of everlasting life. And in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, we have our second hymn, um, which again is from um, Epiphany 4 to Epiphany 5. Um, and it is one, I've got a feeling, it doesn't need really any introduction. Um, I think there's an intro at the start, and I got a feeling you would know it. And I, I, I don't think I even have to mention the, the title. Let me um, find it for you.
Well, I'm sure you know that one. Yes, all things bright and beautiful. Because um, when I um, was checking out the hymns, um, I'm sure I've heard it once or twice, but not, that's the normal tune, uh, Jubilate. Um, but there is another one called the Royal Oak tune, which um, is a bit different, um, but I thought you know that's the sort of more of the traditional one that we know. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those two hymns tonight. Um, we were now, if you can all join with us all, and we will say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen save us o lord while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, and your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal, reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us, and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And in peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ, and come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And the Lord bless us and watch over us, and the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So many thanks for you all who have joined tonight for tonight's um, night prayer. And may I wish you a happy rest of your evening and have a, a safe evening and tomorrow. And I will see you very soon, if not in church on Sunday, or um, if not online on Sunday and also online next Tuesday for night prayer. And um, I hope... And I'll see you soon and have a good evening. Thank you. Good night.